Good evening. This is Stephen Detweiler, Light in the Darkness, radio broadcast, multimedia broadcast, YouTube broadcast, Facebook broadcast, broadcast broadcast, because we want this to be broadcasted. I have made a decision that will probably be putting the finances towards an actual internet radio station 24-7. We'll be looking at using that pla this platform the, for ministers that don't get a lot of airtime or don't have any airtime, but have wonderful, wonderful revelations, uh, beautiful messages of the Lord Jesus Christ, in-depth uh, teachings. And praise God, we need to have that. Uh, there's more than just those that are always on the radio and always on the television. And I would like to start a platform that we can use those. I'm one of them, um, but it's not it's not about me. I just, and, and then then and the Lord has been really placing on my heart that that there's so many talented, wonderful musicians that are that are singing psalms and hymns and and, and creating music onto the worship of Him. That, but they don't have a platform to get it out, and they might get on some iTunes or some other platforms, but this will be another way to just get their worship out to the world. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. So I hope you see that vision and believe with me. Hallelujah. I believe we're, we'll, this will really take off and touch a lot of lives, and that's what we're here to do is to touch a lot of lives with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Like I said, this is Stephen Detweiler, Light in the Darkness uh, Multimedia Broadcast. Glory to God. The Lord has been dealing with me. I went to the minister's conference, had a wonderful, wonderful time. Uh, actually, a lot of, with so a lot of younger people, uh, like from ages 20, 18, 19, 20 to 30. I'm going to be 57 this year. But we need to interact with the next generations. It's the thing about God. If you look at our Jewish brethren, He set the whole thing up to be passed on from generation to generation to generation. Where, where a a thirteen year old becomes an adult and becomes part of the adult society. Okay, the only the only the only thing that 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 there's that that they defined was childhood and adulthood. And they raised their kids to be adults by the time they were 13, and they still do. But praise God, praise God, I had a great time at the minister's conference. Learned a lot. Um, great revelation for this year. Oh, my goodness, there's, there's a power, a glory, a presence of the supernatural that is manifesting this year. Some have said it's a year of abundant harvest the lord told me this is our john 10 10 year a more abundant life year uh increased year beyond measure year hallelujah and we have those uh on recordings glory to god and uh go back and listen to those but the lord's progressing on me because I, what i've got here for you today as I, I and i love this uh i got into numbers and scripture uh, many years ago, and I use and study out of E.W. Bollinger's uh, Number and Scripture uh, book. And I do other research and stuff, but I love seeing the patterns of God and learning how to decipher the patterns of God because in those patterns he, he says specific things. And so... I'm looking, and the Lord, man, when we were coming into 2019, the Lord was speaking to my heart about this, and I kind of was putting it on the side as I was listening to other other things he was telling me and stuff, but now, here we come to this point. I came off the minister's conference, and the Lord said, 19 is the eighth prime number, and we need to give attention to it, because he's saying something here. He's saying, he's going to show, I'm going to, go through this and we're going to learn something and he's he's actually in this we're going to see that these other it, it's going to uh confirm and actually increase the validity of all these other prophetic words 
for this year. Amen. So I'm going to be, uh, uh, when we look at this number to find the significance, we look at the gematria of the number. What it, and it, gematria just means what is the gem made of? You've got to look at the number and it's like a gem. And, and you know how, how uh, people, they, the, what are they, gemologists? Let's just call them gemologists because I don't know what they're called. But they'll take, uh, they'll, they'll take the different types of, of stones and, and decipher what it's made up of. And that's what we're doing with numbers. What is it made up of? And what is the Lord telling us through the scriptures about what's going on with the patterns of these numbers? And some, some of you might be like, man, this guy's just crazy. But wait until you, if you're following the prophetic and you're believing by faith, you're going to see this is all God-based, all word-based. If not, you can change the channel. But I really believe you're going to get a lot out of this. Um, at least at least think about it. If you don't agree with it, put it up on the shelf. And just ask the Lord to show you in, in His timing the revelation behind it. Amen? So, Father God, we just ask you right now, in the name of Jesus, to give us light. To give us light in this prophetic word. Light in what you're showing us this year and into the coming years because we are getting closer and closer and closer to your catching away of the church and you standing on the Mount of Olives setting up your kingdom for a thousand years and then we get to step into eternity forever and ever and ever and ever and Father God we just praise you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. And like I said, I'm going to be reading off my notes here. Hallelujah. So we're going to look at the gem of this word. And we're going to see what the Lord's telling us about the number 19. And he emphasized the fact that it was the eighth prime number. Prime numbers have to be taken in order of their prime number and then secondary we can look at what the actual number is made up like 19 as a prime number it's made up of 10 and 9 so we're gonna we'll, we'll look at that um, briefly but we look at the significance of the prime part of the number because that's the, the the greatest part of the makeup of the gem of the stone of 19 19 being a prime number is significant in that it leads us directly to the most valuable part of the gem, which is the number 8, which is the number 8. The other two numbers that tell us something about this special number and the time that we are in are the numbers 10 and 9. 10 equals divine order or ordination. 9 equals judgment, gifts, fruit of the Holy Spirit. Okay, both of these numbers, 10 and 9, are very significant in themselves. 10 meaning divine order and ordination. 9 meaning judgment, gifts, fruit of the Spirit. Both are very significant when we look at the signs of the times and the prophetic words that have come concerning this year. So when we're looking at 9 and 10, 10 and 9, we're going to take a look at a little bit deeper. It's not going to be our concentration. But we really do need to have an understanding because we're going to sum it up as the three parts because all parts of a gem have something to do with that gem. So let me... Uh, uh, I'm going to give you a little rundown on the number 10. Then I'm going to give you a little rundown on the number 9. And we'll gain some revelation on that. So let's take a look at the number 10 and see what it's telling us in combination with the number 9 and 8 in this gematria or the gem of this number 19, the prime number, as we're going into this year. Hallelujah. And we're going to put it all together at the end and see what the Lord's telling us. Amen? Praise God. Let's take a look at the number 10. 
and then we'll take a look at the number 9, and then we'll finish up with the concentration on the number 8 and put it all together for you. Hallelujah. 10 signifies the perfection of divine order, commencing as it does an altogether new series of numbers. The number 10 is completeness. It implies that there is nothing wanting. The order is perfect. And Jesse Duplantis said this year that we are in a place where God is making sure that there's nothing wanting. In other words, we're not lacking in what the God has planned for us in our lives. And we're going to start to experience those things that we've been desiring or wanting this year. Okay, because we shall not want. He said, Stop. God's going to meet your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So what we need to do is tell God what we're wanting or what we're lacking in our lives. That we feel that he has placed a desire in our heart and we're lacking what is desired in our heart. So come to him and say, look, I'm wanting this or I'm lacking this. And your word says that I shall not lack this. Amen. It, I'm trying to understand. Sometimes Jesse is hard to understand, um, but there's something to that. And we're in that time of the gematria of number 19 of not wanting anything or not lacking anything. That we're now in that place of perfect order. Hallelujah. It implies that there is nothing wanting. The order is perfect. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The tenth completes the eternal cycle. Now, you're, th that's very important when understanding wh how we're going to sum this up in terms of the time period that we're in. Because we've gone through a lot of different tens and stuff like that. But what is God saying to us now in relationship to 2019 and where we are in God's history in his story of what's taking place amen the people shouted for joy ten times so we're gonna look at some some patterns we're gonna look at some patterns of ten which is gonna be significant there's a lot in there I just chose the ones that the Lord showed me to to bring out here the people shouted for joy ten times hallelujah 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. See, that's ten times. I'm shouting for joy, for God is God. He is our God. Yahweh, Yeshua. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thought I'd round it off at twelve right there. Twelve uh, is actually the number of the kingdom of God, so we're good there. Hallelujah. 13. That's actually representative of the atonement. 10 shows us that the believer will not be separated from the love of God in the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Now let's get this. This is what time are we in? What is this number saying to us? 10 shows us that the believer will not be separated from the love of God in the Lordship of Jesus Christ. There are ten enumerations that give the believer complete assurance of the Lordship of Jesus Christ in Romans 8, 38 and 39, starting with verse 38. For I am persuaded beyond doubt, the Amplified says, that one, neither death, two, nor life, three, nor angels, four, nor principalities, five, nor powers, six, nor things present, seven, nor things to come, eight, nor height, nine, nor depth, praise God, ten, nor any other creature, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Man, 
and we got to think about we're right now we're in this time we're in this place of stance we're in this this end time where jesus is coming where we're preparing for jesus to come we're preparing the way for jesus to come hallelujah i'm getting ready i'm ready for to be caught away and then come back on a white horse hallelujah i like riding horses i think that's a pretty cool thing that we're going to be doing amen amen 10 also means ordination or ordained this is going to be this is an ordained time amen there's this is an ordained time where we're not going to be lacking we're not going to be wanting amen we're being set in perfect order this is ordained of the lord the lordship of jesus christ in the ten i am's of jesus in the gospel of john he is the ordained lord of all jesus is lord jesus is lord one i am the bread of life john 6 35 two i am the bread of life which came down from heaven john 6 41 the the sounds that you hear the words that are coming out of your mouth the words that are coming into your heart that are coming into your thoughts and coming out of your mouth are they the sounds from heaven come on are they the sounds from heaven what sounds are you listening to and what sounds are coming out of you glory to god that was during the minister's conference i believe that was jeremy pearson's glory to god three I am the living bread, John 6, 51. 4. I am the light of the world, John 8, 18. 5. I am one that bear witness of myself, John 8, 18. 6. I am the door of the sheep, John 10, 7 and 9. 7. I am the good shepherd, John 10, 14. 8. I am the resurrection and the life, 14.6. 9. I am the way, the truth, and the life, 14.6. And 10. I am the true vine, John 25.5. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 10 is showing us the lordship of God jesus christ i've never been i never saw this in my studies in bollinger in this part i've studied the perfect order part ordination part as it would be towards myself or uh, other people um but i never got into this part and the lord just brought me man i you know you open up a book and the lord just goes look at this and it's something, I mean, if you look at my E.W. Bollinger book, it's uh, pretty wore out. And I never saw how in-depth the number 10 shows the lordship of Jesus Christ. But this is for a time, this time, this time, 2019, where we are coming to a place of acknowledging the lordship of Jesus Christ. And completely giving ourselves to the Lordship of Jesus Christ and operating in the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ and flowing in the power of the Holy Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ, manifesting signs, wonders, miracles in our lives, the miracles of love, the miracles of the love of God touching the world around us because we are completely walking in submission unto God in the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And when we are submitted unto God, the devil has to flee from us. Glory to God. Glory to God. The great I Am gives the completeness of who He is. In these ten I am's, we see in him there is nothing wanting. And this is exactly what the number ten implies. In him we shall not want. 
if you have a want, bring it to him, and he will fix that in his lordship. If you have a want, bring it to him, and he will fix it in his lordship. Glory to God, because he says he is the good shepherd, and we shall not want. Glory to God, we don't lack any good thing, and all good things are given to us to enjoy. Amen? Come on. We just live in the word here. Now let's move into the number nine. Let's move into the number nine. Glory to God. See, there's a lot here. We're not emphasizing these two numbers, but we have but they are a big part of the gem of nineteen, which is what we say, the eighth prime number. And eight is our focus. But we have to but these other two numbers make up the rest of it, and that shows us the the great depth of what year we are in bringing into that place of advancement of our love for God, which is advancement of the kingdom. And like Jesse said last year, um, if you could sum up uh, uh, Christianity in one word, what would it be? Advancement. We continue to advance the kingdom of God in this ever-present evil world, bringing the righteousness, peace, and joy of the kingdom out to others as a witness, and these people will come into the kingdom and be saved from death, hell, and the grave. As Jesus was resurrected, so will they, so will you, so will I, because we are at one with each other in Christ Jesus and Father God in Him, Him in Father God, we in Him, we with Father God, and the Holy Spirit at one with us, in us, Glory to God, it's all about oneness. We are at one with the living God who is love. Glory to God. Glory to God. If that doesn't get you excited, uh, your wood is all wet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The number nine is also significant in that its pattern shows the judgment of the Holy Spirit. In the Lord Jesus Christ, in his blood, you are judged. Hey, you are judged clean. You are judged justified. You are judged just as if you never sinned. In the shed blood of Jesus Christ. In the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Glory to God. This is the judgment of the Holy Spirit upon those who believe and have accepted and have come into the kingdom in the, in the Son of God, in the death, burial, and resurrection of God by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is what God the Father intended for us to be His children, judged, justified, just as if we never sinned, never Ever shall rebellion be accounted to us ever again in the shed blood of Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit comes in and by grace boom we are saved because our faith is in the cross glory to God get born again today if you're not born again already hallelujah and that's real simple just say jesus i turn away from the world and i turn to you and i know in my heart that you are the lord and savior that you are the son of god you are the word of god made flesh and i receive you today i make you the lord of my by my will I make you the Lord of my life. I make you the King of my life. I make you the God of my life. And I will serve you, be with you, and work with you, and rule and reign with you for all of eternity. Because I choose to turn away from the world and the way it thinks and, and rebels against God. I'm going to turn right to you and I'm going to learn of you for you are meek and you are gentle and you are kind and you are love. And I will become this because we become who we hang around and I'm going to hang around with you, Jesus. Now, if you say something along those lines and give yourself to the Lord, you are saved for all eternity. And it's going to be a good one. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I get excited. 
we can see the pattern of nine in the Old Testament as judgments against the sinful and rebellion. In the New Testament, we see the pattern of nine of the Holy Spirit in his gifts and his fruit. Glory to God. When we receive the shed blood sacrifice, we move from judgment into justification. And we are accounted righteous in Christ Jesus and given the authority of his name and the resurrection power of the blood in the Holy Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit is the manifest witness of the word of God always. By the blood of the word, we are now the audible speakers of the word in the name, by the Son, in our sonship, by his lordship, powered by the manifestation of the very spirit of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Go back and listen to that. This is living in the Lordship of our King Jesus Christ. We are living as kings in his kingdom in the here and now by the authority of his name and the Holy Spirit resurrection power of his blood. When the heart of the word is spoken, the power of the heart of the word is is manifest glory to god glory to god hallelujah so these are the first two elements of the gem of the number 19 as we are in the year 2019 and now we are going to focus on the number eight the eighth prime number and then we're going to wrap it all up in the great significance of what the Lord is telling us about the time we are in, in the year that we have entered into. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What we are going to focus on in the major substance of this gem is the number eight. Eight is the demonical which is I had to look up which I had to look up the word eight is a demonical number the definition of demonical is as Jesus Christ as Lord eight is the as Jesus Christ as Lord number okay eight is the demonical number not demon demonical the definition of demonical is as Jesus Christ is Lord so eight is very, very significant that, we, that 19 is the eighth prime number. And when we look at the different prophetic words that have come out this year, and we're seeing such a significance of the lordship and the increase of signs, wonders, miracles, all these things that have been, that have been prophesied, there's no coincidence that we're looking at this as a focal point of Jesus Christ as Lord in the number eight, the eighth prime number. For everywhere it has to do with the Lord, it is the number of his name. Wow. And, and we're going to look at the, and, and uh, you know, in Hebrew, in the Hebrew language, every letter has a, a number uh, also, and that's the exact same thing with the Greek. The Greek letters also refer to as numbers. And so we're going to be looking at his names in the Greek, uh, you know, when they're added up with as numbers, and they all come with the with uh, then they're all divisible when you add them up. They're all divisible by eight. We're going to see that at the end. I just kind of jumped ahead, but oh my gosh, it's uh, absolutely uh, supernatural, absolutely supernatural. Glory to God. Every Greek letter also has a corresponding number as with the Hebrew alphabet. When the... See, I'm getting ahead of myself, but I'm going to read you what I wrote just so I can stay within there. I may go crazy and say some of the same things, but then I'll get back to my notes so that way I know I've covered everything. Um, I hope that's okay. 
Glory to God. But we're going to get this. Amen. Every Greek letter also has a corresponding number, as with the Hebrew alphabet. When the letters of Jesus' name are added up, they equal 8, 8, 8. Remember, 3 equals divine perfection and the power of divinity. As 3 is the number of the Holy Spirit, the anointing. Christ is the anointed one. Or you could say Christ is the anointed king. And when we studied that out in the Psalms, we find out that Christ is Messiah. Messiah meaning the anointed king who sits on David's throne. Glory to God. So we see three eights. Hallelujah. Eight is the number stamped upon the Old Testament. The number of its books. In all the MSS being 24, which is 3 times 8. And we're going to go to page 25 because he explains the number of the books because you might get confused in this, but he's absolutely right when you go to the MSS and find out that there is 24 books in the uh, Old Testament. MSS is the Biblical Manuscripts. That's what MSS uh, stands for is the biblical manuscripts. For clarification, let's look at what Bonger says about the number of books in the Old Testament. I'm going to be reading directly from his book. In the Hebrew MSS, Ezra and Nehemiah are always reckoned as one book, with the one name Ezra. Each of the double books is reckoned as one book, e.g., 1st and 2nd Samuel is one book, 1st and 2nd Kings is one book, and 1st and 2nd Chronicles is one book. And all the minor prophets are also reckoned as one book. This makes 24 books in all. This is 8 times 3, both factors stamping the number with the seal of divine perfection. Now back to page 203 where I've been reading about uh, the number 8. 8, the, the demonical number. Remember, it's the what we, what we say the demonical number is. What does demonical mean? Demonical means as Jesus Christ as Lord. So 8, as Jesus Christ as Lord. That's, that's, that's something powerful in itself. Praise God. In the books, in the book which relates to his, his Jesus, in the book which relates to his Jesus, great apocalypse or revelation, there are in the introduction which sets forth the glory of the Lord to be revealed in the day of the Lord, eight references to the Old Testament on which the claims of his lordship are based. This is really, this is really cool. You gotta get this. You gotta get this. The following paragraph of this chapter is absolutely amazing. When we are a people that are looking for, with open hearts for signs, wonders, miracles, sometimes all we have to do is look deep into scriptures. Amen? Praise God for the anointed man in the name of E.W. Bollinger that was able to show us the sign in Scripture and we are able to discern it at this time looking at the eighth prime number the number 19 the eight references to the Old Testament in Revelation 1 now what I'm about to read what, I, what I'm about to read what I'm about to read you is so cool I don't even quite understand it. Sometimes uh, his books are, are written in like old English and numerical numbers and stuff, so it takes me a while to fi figure this out. Um, but praise God, praise God. I think I, I know I got it. I got I got the scripture references correct. But what? But check this out. Check check this out. Check out what the Lord has done 
in his word concerning patterns concerning patterns this is this will this will just this will just uh bless your heart it will be noted moreover now I'm quoting from the book it will be noted moreover that these are not given at haphazard our attention is called to their importance by the order in which they are given they are arranged in the form of an epanodos 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 e p a n o d o s epanodos the first being from the same book as the eighth the second corresponding in the same way as the seventh, the third to the sixth, and the fourth to the fifth. Th thus, the divine seal of superabundant perfection is there set on the scriptures which declare the Lordship of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I'm going to read you the scriptures. And it's cool because you go, it goes like this. It goes A, B, C, D. And then it goes D, A, B, C, D. And then it goes again because remember, they're corresponding. One, what is it? One to seven. What, what is it? One to seven. Well, you got it. You can go back and listen to it. But this is, this is, this is absolutely amazing. And this declares these scriptures declare it's not only put in a specific pattern for us to take a look at the supernatural and superabundant perfection of God in his word but it declares the lordship and the, the lordship of Jesus Christ praise God praise God the scriptures declare the lordship of Jesus Isaiah 55 this is a Isaiah 55, 4, I'm going to do all through the King James Version uh, because uh, E.W. Bollinger used the King James uh, for his work in his studies. Well, he also, man, he got into, he got into everything, Tyndale and everything else. I mean, he, what, my goodness, when you look at what he did in his life, the man was brilliant. The man was brilliant. I, uh... I love and respect the brilliant minds of those that have taken their gift of intelligence and have given it to the works of God in His Word and have brought great revelations out to us for us to learn from and, and grow from and become intimate with God from. And so, God bless E.W. Bollinger. Amen. A. Isaiah 55, 4. Isaiah 55, 4. Behold, I have given him for a witness to the people, a leader and commander to the people. B. Daniel 7.13. Daniel 713 I saw in the night visions and behold one like the son of man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the ancient of days and they brought him near before him C Zechariah 1210 C Zechariah 1210 and I will pour upon the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplications. And they shall look upon me whom they have pierced. And they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son. And shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for for his firstborn. D. Glory to God. D. The prophet's got all this right, man. I, you know, how can you how can you 
how can you not see the Bible as that the perfect work of God when you see how everything has played out and continues to play out and is playing out at these end times that that these things are taking place they have taken place they will take place glory to God I just get excited and D D Isaiah 41 4 Isaiah 41 verse 4 verse 6 no I'm going to do it. No, it's D. Isaiah 41.4. Then it's Isaiah 44.6. Then Isaiah 48.12. So at this point, the Lord is just saying, you have to look at what the prophet is saying. Remember, this is all in Revelation. This is all in, in the pattern in Revelation. And the Lord said, you've got to check out this prophet. You've got to concentrate on this prophet. You've got to hear what the prophet has to say. Amen. Glory to God. Isaiah 41.4 Who hath wrought and done it, calling the generations from the beginning, I, the Lord, the first, and with the last, I am he. Isaiah 44.6 Thus, 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 uh, Isaiah 44, 6. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, and I am the last, and beside me there is no God. Isaiah 48, 12. Isaiah 48, 12. Hearken unto me, O Jacob and Israel, my called. I am he. I am the first. I also am the last. Hallelujah. And and now and now we go to uh, this pattern where we we ended with D, and now we're going to start with D, and work back to A. So here we go, D. And it's the same. It's the same scriptures. So he gives these scriptures, and then turns around and then gives these scriptures again. Is my understanding. So let's read these. I'll read these just straight through, and and let's get what he's saying. It's the lordship of Jesus Christ. Amen. We're looking at that the significance of revelations through the prophets at this time in 2019 being a prime number and what is this prime number teaching us about this time the prophetic year of the Lord of 2019 and what we should be focusing on and what should we be seeing and and how are we supposed to be reacting and moving forward to bring light into the darkness of this ever-present evil world preparing others for the coming of the living Christ Glory to God. Who hath wrought and done it, calling the generations from the beginning, I the Lord, the first, and with the last, I am he. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, I am the last, and besides me there is no God. Hearken unto me, O Jacob and Israel, my called I am he, I am the first, I also am the last. C. Zechariah 4.2 Zechariah 4.2 And said unto me, What seest thou? And I said, I have looked, and behold, a candlestick, all of gold, with a bowl upon the top of it, and his seven lamps thereon, and seven pipes to seven lamps, which are upon the top thereof. B. Daniel 7 9. B. Daniel 7 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow. 
and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. Daniel 7.13 This is still B. Daniel 7.13 I saw the nights, I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. Verse 22 until the Ancient of Days came, the judgment was given to the saints of the Most High, and the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. Daniel 10.5 Then I lifted up mine eyes, and looked, and behold a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of uphaz. Afaz, 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 Ufaz. I think it's Ufaz. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> Daniel 10.6. Daniel 10.6. Glory to God. Daniel 10.6. His body also was like the burl, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as lamps of fire and his arms and his feet like in color to polished brass, and the voice of his words like the voice of a multitude. Glory to God. And now we started with Isaiah, and now we're finishing with Isaiah. These are the references to the prophets, and it was set in a pattern. A supernatural, superabundant pattern. Isaiah 49, 2. Isaiah 49, 2. And he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand hath he hid me, and made me a polished shaft. In his quiver hath he hid me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the command and the leadership of Jesus Christ given to us by the prophets, shown to us in the revelation of the Christ, in John's revelation of the Christ, hallelujah, to show us the truth beyond doubt, the supernatural truth of the Lord's lordship over all creation, over all that's been made, He is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. It is a supernatural event how the book of Revelation gives to us the Lordship of Jesus Christ through each chapter and in the supernatural pattern in which they are given. The divine seal of superabundant perfection. This year, 2019, the 19th year of this 7th century, the 8th prime number, I believe is giving us the great insight to many of the prophetic words given this year. Remember, we're in the 7th millennium. We're in the last day. We're, one day is as a thousand years, a thousand years as a day. And he rested, or let's just say he came and ruled the seventh day and brought us who are in him to rest and rule and reign with him. Hallelujah. Same pattern. Six days were worked out. It's gotten worked out. Now he's, he, it's all finished and we're going to sit and we're going to rest and we're going to rule and reign. We have one more episode at the end of Thousand Years, and boom, man, it, we, we step into day eight, which is new beginnings in the Lordship, and now we're learning about eight, the Lordship of Jesus Christ for all eternity, as God as our only source of existence, and our worship, and our praise, and, and, and we can only imagine all the great things he's going to teach us. Remember, there's a whole... There's galaxy upon galaxies. There's a universe out there that hasn't even been touched or completed. Yeah, you think that we might have some things to do and, and uh, uh, things to work out by faith like our Father has? 
to live the love life and, and create with Him. Glory to God, because we get to rule and reign with Him. And everything was created by the Word, and our Lord, Savior, King is the Word of God. So if we're ruling and reigning with Him, that means we are also speaking the Word of God. And so He's going to show us the things in our hearts to speak to be able to what? Create, because that's what He does. He is the Creator. I'm just saying, it just looks that way in terms of our everlasting life with him and it seems to me i'm smiling right here because i believe that it's it, it we're just going to have it uh, the kingdom is, is, is righteousness peace and joy in the holy spirit and so in that word uh joy is having a great calm delight about us at all times so we're, we're just delightful and be delighted in everything we're doing with him in the peace of god because he's given us his peace glory to god Man, I got a little bit of preaching there. This year, 2019, and 19, the 19th year of this 7th century, the 8th prime number, I believe, is giving us the great insight to many of the prophetic words given this year. The year of abundant harvest. The year of the supernatural. The year of signs, wonders, miracles, healings. 2019 is the John 10.10 10 year more abundant life year to the full till it overflows life year beyond measure life year glory to god all these things spoken come directly in the revelation of the lordship of jesus christ in every area of our lives the closer we relate to the father in jesus the anointed the greater the manifestation will be in our lives there is without a doubt something very supernatural about this year that is beyond other years and setting up for the years to come especially the coming of our Lord hallelujah 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 glory to God glory to God let me see, I think I need to read that again. All these things spoken come directly in the revelation of the Lordship of Jesus Christ in every area of our lives. The closer we relate to the Father in Jesus, the Anointed, the greater the manifestation will be in our lives. There is without a doubt something very special about this year that is beyond other years and setting up for the years to come especially the coming of our Lord. The time is approaching and there will be a strong remnant of faith that will usher in his coming. Greater attention has to be coming. Greater attention has been coming out about righteousness and holiness. If you watch over the last few years and stuff, righteousness has becoming more of a theme. The holiness of God, um, uh, there was uh, one, one preacher who started off in 2001 or the beginning of 2000 with this, this preaching series, which I think really pertains to now. It's prophetic to the now. And the title of this series is Holiness, The Final Frontier. And I believe there's something very special in that. I believe these revelations will come to greater light as the coming years quickly come upon us. We can see that this number, this number 19 is very significant when we combine the three meanings of the three numbers together. Praise God. And I believe this year we will come to a deeper understanding of the relationship we have with Jesus in his lordship hallelujah never being separated from his love and in the judgment of his love we are empowered to live the overwhelming life inwardly and outwardly of the love of god of the spirit of god of the lordship of jesus christ bearing the fruit of the spirit Amen. 
we bear the fruit of the Spirit on the inside and it comes to the outside. Glory to God. And we'll experience in our lives the gifts of the Spirit this year and for the coming years for this is all progressing into the coming of Jesus Christ amen praise God praise God and so as as the fruit of the Spirit grows within us and touches people's lives the anointing of the Holy Spirit will start to manifest the gifts of the Holy Spirit praise God Praise God. This is the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. This is the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it is about others. Remember, our lives are about others. And Jesus' life was about others. And those others are you and I. And we give Him in our lives his lordship over our lives amen I believe that the evaluation of the three aspects of this number completely shed light on the prophetic words given this year which are worth repeating I mentioned some of them earlier but I'm gonna mention the ones that I have written down I there's a number of them including the one that the Lord gave me 2019 the year of abundant harvest 2019 the year of supernatural the year of the supernatural 2019 the year of signs wonders and miracles 2019 the year of marvels and wonders 2019 the year of the big it's gonna be a big year this year hallelujah and 2019 this is a John 10 10 year a year of increase a year of more abundant to the full to the overflow beyond measure life glory to God glory to God whatever the case may be have your hope fully charged with outstretched neck unwavering confident expectation of the supernatural in your life and the lives you touch these are the evidential years of the Lordship of Jesus Christ. And I'll say that again. These are the evidential years of the Lordship of Jesus Christ. There are seven other demonical names of Jesus that are marked with the gematria of the number eight, making eight names marked with the number eight. And I'm, just, I'm ending with this because I think it's an it's a interesting note. But I, I just the the real end of the message is is surely keeping yourself in the mindset of outstretched neck your hope and this is I, I'm going to go over this again whatever the case may be have your hope fully charged with outstretched neck unwavering confident expectation of the supernatural in your life and the lives you touch these are the evidential years of the lordship of jesus christ keep that on your heart keep that on your mind and i just want to give you the other seven names for the lord for Jesus that that correspond with uh, divisibles of eight and we're using uh, the Greek lettering number system um, this is just a matter of interest glory to God which shows the perfection of God which shows the absolute perfection and Lordship of God that there are eight names with divisibles of eight and the eight are Christ 1,480 is divisible by 8. Uh, Lord, 800. Our Lord, 1,768. Savior, now it's, all, it's uh, the old spelling, S-A-V-I-O-U-R. 1,408. Emmanuel, 25,600. Messiah, 656. Son, 880 all have divisibles of eight and praise God that 
that is absolute uh, man I, I it is absolutely when you think about the things of God and everything that he's done you, you know physics mathematics is God and patterns are God and he put pat he, he put patterns in nature it's called Fibonacci and they have found these certain patterns in nature that that work throughout nature it's the Fibonacci uh, patterns and you can look that up I actually have a uh, uh, financial advisor that does all the all our stock market stuff based on uh, Fibonacci patterns um, not sure how well he's doing um, I'm actually down about a thousand dollars but we're gonna find out glory to God I trust God and I put my my trust uh, uh, in, in God in him uh, and I knew it was on my heart to allow him to run my finances hallelujah hallelujah glory to God when given the numerical value from their Greek letters they are all divisible by eight this is surely another supernatural sign of our infallible God in his written word the living word of God Jesus Christ the word that brings the light of the love of the Father and his kingdom in the King Jesus Christ to this fallen ever present evil world you and I are the children of the supernatural light of the love of God you and I are the children of the supernatural light of the love of God I just want to tell you that I love you God loves you now go out and be the light of love in the darkness of this ever present evil world.